Today we are going to create a Twitter bot that will post images of models onto a Twitter account for us. So this is what we're going to end up with when we're finished here. On the left here we see a script that is going to scrape a web page for images and it will save them in a folder for us. On the right here we have our, have our Python bot script which is going to go ahead and post those images to our Twitter account at a set time interval. Okay, so I'll I'll run it for you guys so we can see how it works here and then we're going to go and review each line uh, each line of the code line by line. So here is what we are going to end up with. This is the account I've got set up here called the model bot and we are going to send out our first tweet in just a minute here. So let's go ahead and get this and get this script running. So here we have, I'll show you guys right now, I have it set at, at a time interval of three seconds. So every three seconds is going to tweet. Obviously, if we were running this on a separate server, we would change that time interval because tweeting every three seconds might be considered a little excessive. But um, let's go ahead and run this here. So first off, I want to show you guys, we'll run this, we'll run the script that'll scrape the images first, okay? So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you guys the uh, the desktop here, and um, just to show you, so you can see the folder that we've got. So right here, we've got our empty folder, or not empty folder, but we have our our two scripts in our folder. So let's go ahead here and now run our script that is going to get the pictures for us. Okay, so here we go. And so right now it is going to this web page that we that I specified here and it's pulling all the photos from that web page and creating a folder that will pop up in this in this directory here. So there you see our folder just got popped up and now when we open it we have all these pictures here from the website that we scraped off the website off the website. All right, so now that we've got those pictures, let's go ahead and run our other script that is going to be the Twitter bot for us. Okay, so we've got that, and now as we saw before, don't currently have any tweets um, for this for this Twitter bot, but now we're going to go ahead and run this guy right here, all right, and this is going to go ahead and send out tweets for us at a three second interval. So let's go ahead and refresh our page here, and there we go, already got two tweets coming out, and refresh again another tweet and there we go so again you can adjust that time interval as you want uh, depending on how many tweets you want to send out and or what you're tweeting about okay so let's go back and uh, close out that script before we get some serious uh, Twitter overload here and just one sec okay so there we go that will finish that off so now we're gonna review our scripts here and so if you guys wanna make this we're gonna walk through step by step how you would go about doing that and so we can understand each line of the code here so we'll start with how we scrape the images from the web page so if, depending on what kind of Twitter bot you wanna make we can or you can use different things so in this case I wanted it to send out images but you can also do there are also Twitter bots that'll send out any kind of thing so some do like poetry some do memes some do a bunch of different things so whatever you guys want your Twitter bot to do or be um, you wanna go ahead and get that data that it's going to that is going to be used to send out those tweets so as far as this script goes we'll review this one quickly and then get over to the to the bot itself but we have a URL here that we are moving to and this is the URL that has the pictures on it so you see we can go to this quickly here and we'll take a look at that All right. so here's the website and it is grabbing pictures from this website here um, based there it is based on our URL so it's grabbing these pictures it's scraping these pictures off the website and creating a folder for us and saving them to that so we go ahead we do that we're using the module uh, we're using the request module the beautiful suit module and the OS module so in this case request is a module that allows you to make requests to web pages uh, beautiful soup is a module for uh, kind of downloading the HTML that makes up those web pages so we can easily parse through that and find what we want and then OS is used to create the folder in the directory that our scripts are in 
So we've got that URL, go to that URL. Um, in our next line here, we have the page. So this is where we're actually requesting the URL. So we're requesting a response from the server on that page. And then we are creating a our soup, which is the HTML that makes up that website that we requested. So once we get that, we are using the BS4 uh, method find all, which is going to find all the images that are on that web page for us. And then it is going ahead and we're going to create the directory that we want to store those images in. Okay, so what this is doing is it's saying if the models folder does not exist in the folder that we are currently in, then we want to make that folder and then otherwise we want to just change our current directory to that folder that we're in because when your Python script saves files or saves uh, pictures in this case to the folder it's going to save them unless you specify otherwise to the current working directory or the current folder that you're in so we go ahead and we change uh, we change our current directory to the models folder that we created so next up here we have a variable that is going to be used to um, inc as we cr add our pictures we want to specify them uh, being slightly different obviously because we don't want to overwrite the same file as we save our pictures so we have our x equals zero and we're going to increment that for each picture in order to save each picture as one two three etc okay so now we have a loop here and what we're doing with this loop is we are saying for each image that is in our uh, image tags soup that we have here so this is returning us a, a nice list of um, a nice list of image tags and that but we don't have that's just the raw HTML we don't we want to extract the the source URL from each of those um, as image elements okay so we're gonna go ahead here and so for each image for each image in that list or for each um, image um, HTML element that is in that in that list then we want to go ahead here and we want to get the source so we are saying we're declaring a variable called URL and we are setting that to be the source of the image so in this case we can reference the source attribute or SRC attribute of the of the image tags with our BS4 module by specifying the image and then specifying within within uh, square brackets what the attribute that we want to get is. So then once we have that URL, we want to go ahead and we want to navigate directly to that URL. Then we want to go ahead and so if the source status code equals 200, so if we get a response there, we want to go ahead and we want to open up a new file. And this is the file that, that is a JPEG file. So you can see here with open um, model plus string X. So we have just the model text plus the current value that our X integer is at. So remember we're incrementing that in order to create new uh, create new image files and we want to save that with the .jpg extension and then we want to be able to write to that file so we're going to go ahead and we are going to create that JPEG file and we want to specify that we're going to write to it so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to say um, f dot write. So what this is is it's opening up this file and it's saying let's represent this file that we opened up as as f. So we're going to say f dot write. So we want to write to that file and then we want to write the um, the request that we got, the content of the request that we got. So that is what's going to capture the image that loads when we navigate to that URL. After that, we want to close the file and then we want to increment x by one so we can move on to our next image file. So if at any point during that uh, loop there is some, an ex some exception thrown, then we just want to continue our loop with the next picture because for some of these images, uh, they won't always get a proper request or there will be some other small error that occurs when we are navigating to that page that the image is, is located on. So if that is the case, then we want to go ahead and we just want to pass over, <clears throat> pass over that image and move to the next one. Okay, so that does it for our, our image scraping. So now we're going to go ahead here and talk about our model script. So this is the, uh, the script that creates our Twitter bot. So we're using three libraries in this case. We're using the Tweepy library, which is a Python library for accessing uh, Twitter via the API. So an API is just an application programming interface, which is essentially um, a lot of code that is written to directly access certain data within the uh, within Twitter and to be able to make certain um, to be able to perform certain operations such as posting new status updates posting pictures um, a following um, and a bunch of other things you can do on Twitter so we're going to use the Tweepy library in order to make our code more efficient 
Next up here we have the time module, which we are using to specify how much time we want to uh, rest in between our tweets. And then we have the OS module in order to move over to our folder that is that contains our, our the pictures that we scraped off the web. So next up here, this is an important part for creating this, guys. So we have the uh, credentials. And the way what this is is how you log into your Twitter account, that your new Twitter bot account that you created. So if you guys are building this, go ahead and create a new account on Twitter. And then you want to go ahead, once you've created that account, you want to navigate over to this page here. So that's apps.twitter.com backslash app backslash new. And just navigate to that page. And it's going to bring this up here. So what this is, is you need to create a, or you need to tell Twitter that you're creating an application in order to get what are known as the API keys so you can access your account directly through the API interface that Twitter provides. So in this case, you create a name for your bot that you're creating. You create a description for your bot, and then you can just throw in any old website you want. Uh, if you want to go ahead and create a website specifically for your bot, go ahead and do that and specify that there. But otherwise, uh, go ahead and throw in whatever website. And do make sure that you type in HTTPS uh, colon backslash backslash, not just www, whatever name of the website you are creating is, because otherwise it's going to throw you a little error there. Then you just go ahead and check this off and create your Twitter application. So once you do that, you're going to have access to a couple of these keys here. There is a tab that you want to navigate to once you're within that that will generate these keys for you so you can access the Twitter API from within your script. So that will give you your consumer key, your consumer secret, your access token, and your access secret. So these are just long strings of numbers and letters that are going to be used to access your Twitter API. So go ahead and create variables to represent those, um, those keys and those secrets, and then go ahead and um, store those strings within those variables. So next up here, we're going to use um, a couple different functions from the TweetP library in order to uh, log into our API. So the first one is the OAuth handler. So you see TP here, which we said up at the top here, we want to import TweetP as TP. So when we're referencing the TweetP library from within our code, we can reference it just by uh, the, by TP instead of having to type out TweetP. And so we have TP.OAuth handler, which is how we're going to um, log into our or, or authenticate with the Twitter server um, in order to log into our account. So next up here, we want to take that um, auth, that, that value that we are representing with auth, and we want to go ahead and set the access token. Again, this is using a function within the TweetP library, and that specifies two parameters, which are the access token and the access secret. So you go ahead and you add those in there, and then, you have, then you're ready to log in. So your next line here is to create the API variable, and then go ahead and log in via the uh, TweetP API function. So again, we specify uh, TP API with auth as our as our single parameter and remember we set the consumer key the consumer secret and the access token and the access secret with these two lines above so now we've logged into our Twitter API so what we want to do is post these images so in this case we want to go ahead and change the current directory that we are in to the models folder that we saved all our images that we scraped in so in this case here we are using the OS dot uh, chdir uh, function which is basically just saying change the current folder that we are operating in to the models folder so in this case your script first starts running when it first runs it's uh, it's the current directory that it runs in is the directory that the scripts themselves are located in so remember we created that folder in that same folder that the scripts are in but now we want to move into that folder that we created that has the pictures so we're going to move into that folder with that line and then next up here we are going to loop over the files that are within that folder in order to post them each at a post each um, each picture because in this case they are going to be pictures at a set time interval so we go ahead here and we say for we're creating a variable called model image which is going to represent each file as we iterate over the files that are within the uh, folder that we created and so we're going to say for each image that is in the or for model image in the um, in the directory list so then we're using the uh, the list uh, dir, the list dir function that is part of the OS module again, which will list all the files that are within our folder for us. 
So that allows us to iterate over them. And in this case, we want to use, again, the tw a tweepy function, which is the update with media function. So as far as this goes, there are a couple different functions that you, or there are multiple functions you can use for the different things you want to do on Twitter with Tweepy. But in this case, we want to use the update with media function in order to paste, post a photo. This can also be used to post a video or post a GIF. So we can go ahead and say update with media. Another function you can use is update status or update underscore status. And then you pass a string as your parameter, uh, which is going to be just whatever text you want to post. Say you just wanted to send out a, a text-based tweet you would use update status so after we go ahead and we send out our tweet then we want to go ahead and uh, sleep so that's going to tell our script to basically uh, pause for that amount of time and then continue running so in this case we have our loop that is going to continue to run continue to um, move through the folder that contains our images and tweet them out but in between each tweet this is where you specify how much time you want to how much time uh, there should be within between each tweet so that's where you specify this value here in seconds so in this case it would be three seconds so that that about does it for how to create the bot and a couple things so moving forward for this uh, with you guys if you want to create this go and or if you have created this then the folder that we created to store our images only has about 14 or 15 images I believe I think it's 14 from what whatever we scraped so we've got those images but say you wanted to continually um, post new content so what you would want to do here is modify the script that scrapes the pictures to continually scrape new pictures or to at a certain time of the day go ahead and request that URL again and scrape the new pictures from the web page and add them to that folder so we can continue to iterate over new content and we don't have to continue to to say do that by hand we can automate the entire process so that would be how you could move forward with this project and create something that continues to operate um, hands-off so I hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't already any questions or comments definitely leave them below uh, this is a kind of this is a cool project to make and a great project to kind of stretch your Python skills uh, it uses a bunch of different libraries and you are using a few different functions to move around your operating system which are interesting to get a look at so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy 